which non-playoff team from last year best chance to make it in 2021? Cowboys, Patriots, 49ers, Chargers. Uh, I I will, of course, go the Cowboys because that's the easiest path to win the division. Niners are in the deepest end of the NFL pool. That's a hell of a division. Toughest division in football, I believe. And, you know, so I need to see what the Chargers look like um, before I, I jump in in the middle of May. But Dallas is just ready to roll. Dak's coming back. You know, Dak's coming back. That second game on the schedule here in the Chargers, is just going to be dynamite. It's the Chargers' home opener with fans in SoFi. The Rams get the first crack at it on Sunday Night Football Week 1 against the Bears. It's going to be a Cowboys home game. It is going to be. You know, I fear fear that will be the case for the Chargers, yes. There'll be a ton of Dallas fans here in Los Angeles, and Justin Herbert might show up and say, how do you like me now, Uh, Dallas fans? Uh, you think your defense is totally revamped? Well, let me show you a thing or two here. And then Dallas is home for Philadelphia, home for Carolina, home for the Giants. That's a Monday nighter against Philadelphia. And then, by the way, you look at the last, what is that, five games, you got four division games. They don't play Washington until a home and home in weeks 14 and 16 wrapped around a visit to the Giants. That's oh, a big stretch, baby. man. Home for Kyler Murray back in the Metroplex week 17. Dallas Cowboys. I mean, that's going to be a tough schedule. I'll, I'll just say Dallas because, again, that division was not won by a team over 500. I will just counsel again as Irv was – I mean, Irv treated the um, – <laughs> Irv treated the – Schedule release show like an episode of First Take last night. Yeah, he did, <laughs> which was great. It's what he did. I mean, like he he was treating the rest of us like Stephen A. Smith, and <laughs> and you know just came out the gate barking about the Dallas Cowboys. And when I say came out the gate barking, I'm talking about you know showing up in the green room area that was created last night out of an empty row of luxury suites in SoFi Stadium at Hollywood Park for us. So, like, one, you know, luxury suite was the makeup room. Another one was kind of a green room where you could go in and talk to the producers. Another one was an operations room and so on and so forth. I just found, a like, a couch. And my (laughs) apologies to all the wealthy people who are going to be sitting on this couch. I just just took a nap on it. (laughs) Like, like a 10-minute little cat nap. That got awakened by Irv coming in and arriving, fully suited and booted in what was, by the way, Ravens colors. Oh. He said it was royalty. <laughs> Purple was royalty for a king because this is the building in which the Dallas Cowboys were going to win. Oh. And that was what he said after he woke me up <laughs> and he looked at me. I looked at him. I'm like literally lying down on this sitting couch and up. I look up and there is the face, the visage of the playmaker looking down at me, <laughs> laughing like you tired, you know, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just taking a nap. And he goes, he goes, you okay? And I'm like, of course, I'm in the place where the Jets are winning the Super Bowl this year. That was my response to him, knowing what his sensibilities was going to be to walk in there. That's my job as a host to start poking my analysts from jump. Like that's what I do. With my guys, my people. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.